Facebook's making a gigantic pivot to privacy, and your podcast will be affected. Listen up. Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. Facebook has been making noise for the last several months about changing their way of doing business. They recognize some of the flaws, and let's not get into the politics of things, but the new move of Facebook is away from the timeline, away from broadcasted bits of information, and a refocus across their suite of platforms on privacy, on encryption, and one-to-one communication, which is kind of all, all three the same things. Big, big, big shift in podcasting, uh, and it was just talked about recently. Mark Zuckerberg got on stage at the end of April 2019 and delivered his keynote speech, and pretty much everything else at the speech was all about this this new approach. So a lot of podcasters are definitely worried. What does that mean? Because Facebook's huge. Facebook's the biggest social network we have, and for a lot of brands, a lot of podcasts, they utilize Facebook as a way to broadcast their message, as a way to get new people listening to the show, as well as engage with their fans. And that's all changing. It is all changing. We're going to talk about that today, what I think that change might mean for the future. Some new thoughts about what Facebook looks like. And here's the deal. We don't really know what Facebook is going to look like. But right. So rather than saying, here are the tactical things you should implement right now, I am instead going to talk about what a future looks like where Facebook is less about broadcasting your message, which is what a lot of people are doing today, which is what I'm doing with Facebook today. I am. When this post goes live on Facebook, it's a broadcast out there. So I'm going to talk about instead of that world that we currently live in, what does it look like if, in fact, Facebook follows through with this or when they follow through with this, and it is much more of a one-to-one relationship. So the first thing I want to say to podcasters is, guys, we should welcome this. We really should. I mean, the whole premise from podcasting since day one, and I've been involved almost since day one, at least year one, has been the intimate nature of podcasting and how different that is from broadcasting. You see what I mean by that? It's a one-to-one relationship. Someone has to choose to listen to your podcast where they just turn on the radio and it starts to play. They turn on the TV and it starts to play. Listening to a podcast is a much more intimate experience because it requires someone making an upfront commitment to listen to just one episode of one show. It's a very different model. So this new switch to privacy follows that because it's, this, it's the idea of the one-to-one relationship. It's the idea that the users of Facebook are going to be more in charge and get to request what they want to see. They have said, they being Facebook, has gone so far as to say that, you know what's really going to happen is the the news feed, the timeline, whatever you want to call it, is being de-emphasized. Ooh. News feed and timeline is being de-emphasized in favor of communities. We know them as groups today. In favor of... in favor of messaging apps like Instagram. And what I think is really important that we're not catching here in America is WhatsApp. And I think WhatsApp is really what we ought to be watching right now. Now, the idea will be we can still, we podcasters can still utilize Facebook. We can still post links to our content on Facebook. Now, I don't see Facebook changing and actually embracing audio. I think they're still going to hate audio like they do today. Hate's probably too strong of a word, but I'm just going to use it. But you can still, you will still be able to post your episodes to Facebook. But what you're going to see happen differently is all of that public stuff that you get, public comments, likes, that kind of stuff is going to be de-emphasized in favor of the people who listen to your content, who have discovered your content, who then listen to your content, will be able to communicate directly back to you, the podcaster, the brand, the one that put out the content. Communicate with you in a way that not everybody else will see. Now that's key, and it's something I have actually seen happen. 
Some of you may know that I used to be the host of the Bangkok podcast. Still going. New co-hosts are running things now. Awesome job, Greg. Awesome job, Ed. With the Bangkok podcast, we started doing something with Line, which is kind of an analog to Facebook, although it's much more than that, in the Thailand world. And we set up a an account online, a business account, if you will. We pushed out our episodes to that, so all of the hundreds of people who had, were following the show online were able to get the show online. And the amazing thing was is they wrote in via line. They messaged in like minutes after the episode dropped and started talking about it. Hours after the episode was available in line, they started talking back to us. Way more impact than we ever got from email. Way more reviews. Way more than reviews. Way more than any other form of communication. That line app, pushing it out directly to this device, worked really well to get people to respond back to us. And that's what's going to happen, I think, with the new focus in Facebook. That's Facebook, the app. That's Facebook Messenger, the messaging app. That's Instagram. And that's WhatsApp. You're going to have ways, as a podcaster, I believe, to push your content out to the people who have chosen to consume your content on that device or get alerted about your podcast on that device through that app. They will then communicate back to you directly. And that's going to be interesting. How will you adapt to that, podcaster? Are you ready for a flood of information, a flood of comments, a flood of, I love this about the show, I didn't like that about the show? Because that's where it's headed. And it's all private. It's all between you and that person, so it never has to be shared anywhere else. Unless, of course, you decide to copy and paste screenshots, so be careful of doing that. It's a big shift. There's a lot of unknowns. Like, we don't know, for example, how does this work? How do we actually get the content from the podcast into this new app, this new version of Facebook? I don't know. Will stories maintain? Sure, probably. How does a podcast better react to that? Because what's happening today is going to be very different tomorrow. They've already changed the desk, uh, the mobile app. If you haven't opened up Facebook on your phone lately, it's changed. Pretty small, simple changes right now. But more changes are coming. They're changing Instagram. So where that the number of likes on an Instagram photo are no longer publicly visible. Interesting. New changes. New ways to be intimate. So I go back to this. This is what we loved about podcasting from the start. It was the ability to have a much more intimate connection with our listeners, with our audience, than any other medium afforded us. Through these changes of Facebook, they just might close the loop on that and enable that same private decision to listen to your podcast, to be full circled with a private communication back to you that no one else has to listen to or read that doesn't have anything to do with email. Gets them out of that. Gets them in the same actual device, which has been a big holy grail of ours all the time. We want people to communicate to us directly in the app they're listening. Current apps don't really, well, the big apps don't really enable that right now. It's hard to share content, let alone comment to content. Maybe, maybe Facebook and their new changes with this one just might fix it. So what do you do as a podcaster? Reevaluate your relationship with Facebook. I'm reevaluating mine. I've been going away from Facebook. But now I'm interested once again. Now I wonder, what can I do, understanding this is the new way things are going with Facebook? Reevaluating. I'll have more topics on this as we see these changes come forth, as we start to find out how do we actually get the content in there. So for now, just if you've been ignoring it like I have, time to unignore. Time to start paying attention to what happens to Facebook when they do become this privacy-focused company. Lots of changes afoot. If you need help navigating these crazy changes of podcasting that's happening right now, and also it will continue, by the way, uh, get in touch with me. It's what I do. I help businesses all around the world launch and keep their podcasts running. Go to podcastlaunch.pro to see a list of all the services I offer my clients, or you can email me, evo at podcastlaunch.pro. Happy Thursday. Enjoy the week. I'll be back on Monday with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers.